The plan is simple. You kill me, I go down to hell, interrogate the professor, get the formula, and then you bring me back. Well, come on, who's in? This is a terrible idea. What do you think? I think that I followed about half of that. We all have itchy butts. Excuse me? No, it's just something the woman said to me right before I punched her in the face. I believe this is the part where you tell me it's much more than just a sandwich. What about Hitler? The sandwich is Hitler? You went to medical school, correct? Many, 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 many years ago. Good. So you'll be the one bringing me back from the dead. The brain only lasts three minutes after death. Or so I read, just now. Like on the ride over. Why am I doing this again? You have some sensible advice. Um, he's the devil. Nothing's really been sensible since I found that out. God and his ex having a fight to the death? Sounds kind of bad for, you know, humanity. Oh, you'd probably be fine. Probably? Well, I thought, what with your medical expertise and training? Even if I was that kind of doctor, I'm pretty sure they're not teaching ringectomies in med school. No, 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 it's quite simple. It's just snip, snip, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, well, God's your father, Lucifer. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you I'm not that kind of doctor? <laughs> Okay, so that was God, God, back there, as in capital G. I didn't bow. I should have bowed. I should have spit in his face. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Then you're no use to me, Doctor. What on earth are you doing here, anyway? Chloe sent me to check on you because she was worried. But now I'm worried. Please tell me you're not still planning on having your mom and God destroy each other. Don't be silly. That plan won't work anymore. Oh, oh good. Maybe I should have cursed. Fortunately, Dad seems to be soft on Mum, like he still has feelings for her. Explain to me what's going on, please. I'm trying to recreate their first date. You... What? Wait, you're trying to parent trap God and the divine goddess? What? Worked in the movie. Displacing. No, I'm not. And that's denial. That's a river in Africa. <laughs> Is that sound? Oh. My boobs. Okay, can we go back to the angel of death? Is he, uh, is he another one of your brothers? Sister, actually. The angel of death is a chick? Yes, I sort of wish we were back to talking metaphors. That makes two of us. Mum, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, girl stuff. Dr. Linda, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What? Well, you're not that handsome. That's helpful, thank you. Linda, dad, dad, Linda. A handshake will do, my beautiful child. Okay. I can't. You do it. No, 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 no. No, the deal was you kill him, I bring him back. But you're the doctor. Okay, if you're the demon from hell. Goodness sake. What? <gasps> what? I just want to take care of you. Is that so hard to believe? Yes, out with it. What's going on? Are wings like body hair? No, that was so ridiculous. My apologies, Doctor. I don't mean to barge into your home like this, but you weren't at work. It's 7 a.m. And? Lucifer, you didn't invent the idea of giving out favors. <laughs> yep, forgot who I was talking to. Ooh. Oh. Doctor. Hi, Lucifer. What's up? I'm wondering if you've seen a Menadil. Nope, haven't seen that family member. <sighs> You're right, I am and always will be master of the mojo, mm. king of desire, yeah. sultan of humans' innermost wishes. Thank you, Doctor. Did you guys kill the chairman of the review board? Please tell me you didn't kill him. I'm just gonna... Doctor! For the life of me, I can't even remember why we were fighting. Hold on. Do you think it's possible that I've given my power to everyone I've ever had sex with and just never knew it? But who, me? Well, we did the deed. What? So if I give people the opportunity, they'll tell me what to do? Exactly. Like, bring back my baby's daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, actually, I don't think Lucifer is being that ridiculous. Sorry. <laughs> Apology accepted. So, um, what do you think it means? What about my Uncle Edwin? Is he down there? because he was yeah, one, he was one bad mamma jamma. I think I've broken my therapist. Well, let's try now, come on. Lean in, look into my eyes, ask me what I desire. Mm -hmm. Right, the Eve from the Garden of Eden. I mean, I am carrying an angel baby. I guess this is just a normal Tuesday for me now. What do you desire?
No, nada. Totally limp. <sighs> Ouch. <sighs> Several million bullets dodged. Well, I know what a big deal the kiss was for the detective. For her? Well, I'm sure it must have made quite an impact on her. No doubt she's overwhelmed by emotions she's never felt before. She's overwhelmed. Mm. Uh huh. Trouble was, they were celestial beings, so that moment created the universe. Mm. The Big Bang. Never knew how appropriate the name was until now. We had sex, and then this morning. Wow. Wait. You guys had sex? <laughs> Finally. Do you mean actual gates? Like big and pearly? Are we talking clouds? Old dudes in white robes? And my dad is Morgan Freeman. I do yoga. Hot yoga. I'm freakishly flexible. Want to see? <gasps> wow! Really tried to keep that one in. Well, you tried. That's what matters. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. And the fact that he came to this emotionally mature insight on his own, impressive. Shows a sign that he's grown. Now can we jump to the part where you teach the detective how to you know, return my mojo? Yeah. Scratch emotional maturity. You're saying that distraction is a way to avert your problems? No. Ergo, the more I distract, the less I worry. No, I did not say that. We didn't need to, Doctor. I just didn't. It's bloody brilliant. Any warning signs of lasting trauma? Denial. Rash decisions. So why is your gift desire? That's a good question, actually, I suppose. When I first went to angel school, they uh, sorted us into different houses for different powers. There's a school for angels? No. <laughs> There's no Hogwarts in the sky. Right. <laughs> Obviously. So you left a man a deal in hell. Really, Doctor? An evil twin, the detective finding out she's a gift from God, and that's the part you're stuck on? A man a deal. The father of my child. Oh, yes. She just fired me. Shocking. Lucifer? Oh, Dr. Linda Martin. Hello. Here you are. <laughs> That's great. You must be so happy. Everyone must be so Who's watching hell? Uh, oh, don't worry about that. It's fine. Uh, yeah, because the last time hell was left unattended, demons came and grabbed my baby, so I'm going to need a little more than it's fine. It's not about the idea. It's about the execution. It's about how I use the wings. That's actually pretty wise. So I'll just tuck them away and pretend they don't exist? Less good. Someone else is giving favors, who cares? I'm Lucifer Bloody Morningstar. I'm in the middle of my session here. Well, the doctor is with child. She needs her rest. I dare you burden her with your petty concerns now. Run along, come on, shoo, shoo. Oh, and she may be plotting to send me back to hell. Okay, that's a very serious accusation. How do you know this? A complete stranger told me. But I'm a ten times a day man, Doctor. Big Ben strikes ten, as they say. I'm Big Ben. Yeah, I got that. Is it possible that the word boyfriend is what stopped the clock? Well, when it comes to your case, I feel I may have um, complicated things. Lucifer told him you used to screw, among other things. Oh. You had a date with Chloe. That's a big deal. I need to hear about it. You know, as you're a therapist. Expert perspective on our wonderful kinship. I'm guessing this isn't going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seem very distracted today. Oi. Why are you so defensive, Lucifer? Good question. A two, Doctor. Lucifer, you asked me to analyze the situation. No, I asked you to help figure out what's wrong with her. Even if he has lost his mark. Pierce lost his what now? Wait, look, allow me to catch you up. And did I mention that Eva's just come out of a long-term relationship? So... And as far as I can tell, doing a fantastic job. Why, thank you. You're right, Lucifer. She's amazing. No, she's verbal Ebola. Where's the button to put the glass up? If you were still my therapist, I might listen to you. No, you wouldn't. But since you're not, bye-bye. Mm,